My name's Alexander Shea. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Vantage Power. We're a high-tech startup company that's designing hybrid retrofit systems for buses. So in 2008, the idea came to start a project to design and build the world's longest range and sexiest looking electric car, which is that one over there. And we decided to prove that this technology was viable for the future by driving it down the longest and hardest road in the world, which is the Pan American Highway, uh, from the top of Alaska down to the bottom of Argentina. And we thought, that's a great story. Everybody can see it on the map very easily. Uh, many people have heard of that road. That's the road that we're going to conquer. That project finished in 2010. Uh, we were very excited. We'd had a huge bunch of media, huge experience. And we spent the next 10 months working out what it really was that Vantage Power was going to do. And we came up with the idea of a hybrid retrofit system for buses, introduced it to the industry, introduced it to investors, and we're finally at the point of market introduction. We're starting out with buses because that is the market that we're surrounded by. We're in one of the largest bus markets in the world here in London, and it's a very approachable industry if you compare that to the rest of the automotive market as a whole. One of the big factors in our system is the battery pack. We'd had a lot of experience with battery packs before, so we knew we were going to do cylindrical cells that we found out the best way to join them was welding rather than screw terminals, which is another common method. We ended up with a structure which required quite a special welder. We wanted to use copper for a variety of reasons. One is uh, electrical conductivity was a lot better, two was cost, and three was structure. And very quickly we found out normal resistance welding wouldn't be up to the task. You'd end up getting the electrodes sticking to the copper and you wouldn't get a weld. So after a lot of searching, we found sunstone that advertised on their website exactly what we needed to do, welding copper to cylindrical cells. And it really was the only game in town when we came to finding uh, the type of welder that we needed. When we got it here, pretty much we could go straight away and, and weld what we needed to weld. If we couldn't have got that machine working, we would probably have had to go the traditional route of using nickel tabs, which with our design would have been very expensive. I would struggle to find another system that's as adaptable as that. In January 2014, for the first time, we drove the first prototype. Mark II is the second prototype, which we started designing in June 2014, and that's culminated in track testing, which is now undergoing, and the performance is much better, much easier to maintain the system, much more advanced, and we're just about to finish track testing and pass it out to customers for them to give it a go. The future is multi-vehicle, multi-country, global if possible, growing into a real force to be reckoned with when it comes to electric and hybrid vehicle powertrains.